lecture i'm going to discuss what how to import a csv file into table using sqlite studio so let's uh, go at the sqlite studio so this place here you can see there is the tools option is there here you if you click then you can import the data or the next option is go on the database or or just right click on the desktop base and here you can also get the option of import Okay, two ways you can do this. So here, database that selected test, and this place you need to give the table name. So let's give here the table name EMP. After that, click on this next. Now this or uh, here you can choose the source tab CSV. That's fine. And thereafter here you need to browse the file. So the file is in desktops, and if you uh, scroll down, then you can get here files. And after that, uh, going to use your employees tables. Click on this open, and uh, text uh, that's fine. And ignore this error, and no need to check anything. Click on this finish. Now you can see there is the EMP tables that's uh, created. And if I click there, okay, wait one second. Then here you can see total so uh, or columns are eleven, and right click. Then uh, you can see this is the list of options. Double click there. Then you can see this is the columns are there. Now wanna see the uh, data? So you can see there is the data, and column is now employee ID, first names, second names, and this all that's come there. After that here you can see the constant index details. So this is the detail, and uh, this is the trigger is not there. And wanna see the structure? So you can see the structure. Total numbers of columns are eleven. Okay, so this is the most uh, simplest way we can import uh, CSV files. Now you can also go to tools and click on this import. And this terms giving here employees. And click on this next. And the same thing here. You need to select the CSV. And so uh, this time, so here selecting go uh, EMP, EMP file that selecting, and do uh, not need to check this and click on this finish. Or uh, then, or uh, you can see employees tables that's come there. And if I double click, then you can see total numbers of columns are eight. Wanna see the data? Click on this data, and you can see here this is the data that's come there. After that, you can do some filtering. On the data, you can add the columns, remove the columns, and uh, so many operations you can or uh, do this place. So, or uh, this is the form of form, form, and if you click here, this is the grid view, and this is the form view. So this is how we can import the CSV file in SQLite Studio. So I hope guys, this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.